Welcome to my YouTube channel, Journey of a Child of God. Please don't forget to subscribe. Jesus is the reason. Go out to the highway and edges and compel them to come in so that my house may be filled again. Jesus is the only reason. Journey of a Child of God. Today, I want to do things a little bit different. My name is Karen Johnson, and I want to talk to you today on the topic purpose. And I want to draw from the dictionary. What really is purpose? The dictionary defines purpose, the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. Why you do something or why something exists? Purpose creates meaning, goals, intention. Aristotle calls. Quotes, God and nature create nothing that does not fulfill a purpose. Another quote, purpose is a desire for something in our own power, coupled with an investigation into its me. So purpose is giving meaning to something so what is your purpose what is your meaning to existence jeremiah 29 verse 11 for i know the plans that i have for you says the lord plans for peace and not for evil to give you a future and a hope that is what God has planned for us. A future, a hope. He doesn't want to see evil for us, but he wants peace. A future, a hope. This is the very same God who has created us and give us a purpose for us to establish. We must live in the will of God for this purpose to be established. Proverbs 19 verse 21. There are many plans in a man's heart. Nevertheless, the counsel of the Lord will stand. Romans 8 28. We know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are called according to to his purpose. So it's all about God's purpose. Psalms 138 verse 8. The Lord will fulfill his purpose for me. Your mercy, O Lord, endures forever. Do not forsake the work of your hands. Purpose. Purpose. I want to go to Judges 13. And the story that I will be talking about, it's from Judges 13 to 16. It's about the life of Samson. Now, the children of Israel, they did evil in the sight of God. God gave them an enemy, the Philistine. I will worry Judges 30, 1 to about 5. Again, the children of Israel did evil in the sight of the Lord, so that the Lord gave them into the end of the Philistine for 40 years. There was a certain man from Zorah, from the tribe of Dan. His name was Manoah. His wife was infertile and had borne no children. The angel of the Lord appeared to the woman and said to her, Indeed, you are infertile and have borne no children. 
yet you will conceive and bear a son. Now be careful, I pray, that you drink no wine or strong drink, and that you do not eat anything ritually unclean. For you will conceive and bear a son, no razor may touch his head. For the boy will be a Nazarene to God from the womb. He will bring to, he will begin to save Israel from the end of the Philistine. This is the word of God. This woman, I believe, Samson mother, Manu wife, was in purpose. She was in the will of God. Or in fertility. Some Bible said that she was barren. It was in the will of God. Her barrenness was the will of God. She was called for a time to bring Samson in. The children of Israel, they did evil in the sight of the Lord. And the Lord let them have an enemy and this enemy oppressed them for 40 years no man man no wife had to be in the will of god that while he was answering answering the prayer for the children of israel she would bear a child to bring forth within that time they were oppressed for 40 years, Samson would begin to rescue them. This is purpose. God created Samson with this specific purpose to rescue the children of Israel from the Philistine. Today, I want to ask you, what has God called you to do? What has God called you to do who are you here to deliver who are you here to bring out now the philistine they oppress they rob the crops from the children of israel they did all manner of stuff to the children of israel and god sent them purpose samson purpose even infertility at times can be the will of god it can be purpose purpose god has given all of us great purpose what is yours are you fulfilling your purpose there is so many things that happened to Samson, but I want to focus on the last level of Samson's life. Samson was a judge for 20 years. 20 years. There was a time when Samson attacked so often to ask Samson the one same question. And I ponder so many times when I read this. And I said to myself, why could it be that Samson is so foolish that Delilah just deceived him? Because every time he would lie to Delilah and Delilah would let him be in a trap by the Philistine. So Samson must have known that this woman was deceiving him. But yet the will of God must come to pass and i believe this delilah was in the will of god to be in samson's life at this particular time so after delilah nagged samson nagged him over and over and over and over samson eventually gave in and gave Delilah the secret to his strength. She told the Philistine 
and the Philistines came and captured Samson because Samson gave Delilah her secret. They put Samson in prison. The funny thing about this, after they imprisoned Samson, the word of God says the Philistine rulers had gathered to make sacrifice to their God, believing that their God had given them Samson, their enemy. This was victory for Samson. They called for Samson to come and entertain them. So you know what they wanted to do? Embarrass Samson. Because they think that their God had given them Samson. But this was purpose. God desired this to happen. So when they took Samson out, Samson asked that his two hands must go on the pillar of the buildings. And he asked God one more time to give him that strength that he needed. And God gave him that strength. And when God gave him that strength, he pushed these pillars in and the building came in. And all the Philistines that had gathered died that day. The Bible says, Samson killed about 3,000 Philistines. And it was more than he had ever done in his entire life. Samson was here for a purpose. A lot of us, life would not be a better rose. But that does not mean we're not fulfilling purpose. No. Nelson Mandela had to go to prison to get to fulfill his purpose. What do you need to do so your purpose can be fulfilled? On this particular day, I was walking and I came to this little pond and I saw purpose. When I looked at these ducks, I saw purpose. I said, God created these, these ducks specifically to be in the water, on top of the water. Look at me. I am standing out of the water. Can I just sail on top of the water like these duck ducks? No. That's not what God created me for. Am I going to be jealous of these ducks that they can sail on top of water and I can't do it? No, that's not my purpose. That's not the will of God for me. As I pondered on purpose with these ducks, I walk a little bit more, enjoy nature, I see this great body of water. And when I observed, there was a ship who God gave man purpose to build a ship to sail on top of water. Now, if I want to be on top of water, I go in a ship. That's the only way a boat, a canoe, something that can sail on top of the water. But dare me say, I'm going to be sailing like a little duck on top of the water. When I look, I see a bird flying, flying above the water. Can I fly above the water? Oh no, I cannot begin to think that I would have that ability to fly above the water. If I want to be above the water, I better go book a flight. Go in here, Jamaica or American Airlines. 
all air canada some airplane or a helicopter or there are other means but what i'm saying i don't have that ability to fly above the water purpose people must learn to establish purpose focus on the will of god for your own life desire to know what is the will of god for your own life and establish that spend your entire time focusing on how you will get to establish that again aristotle quotes god and nature create nothing that does not fulfill a purpose yet some of us don't know our own purpose some of us want to be a bird some of us want to be a duck whatever maybe even an ant some of us busy want to be something else this is what i've observed for myself walk into our own destiny purpose is establishing the will of god that's the way i look at it if you haven't been walking in your purpose forgive yourself take this next step and move into your destiny say to yourself i will not die with the music in me i will begin to sing my own song i will walk in my purpose i will walk in the will of god overcome obstacles and become who god destined you to be to me purpose is being in the will of god when you establish the will of god over your life then you will be in purpose walk into your destiny you are fearfully and wonderfully made you are a holy nation a peculiar one you are a citizen of heaven you are a light that is set upon a hill no one cannot hide you only you can hide from yourself are you hiding from yourself go shine your light go fulfill purpose again read judges 13 to 16 look at purpose Samson's mother was barren. Why was she barren? She was waiting for God's timing. God sent an angel to speak to her, to tell her that she would have a son, that she should not drink on clean drink. She should not eat food that are not clean not drink any wine or any strong drink no razor must come up in his hand that's purpose not because you don't have a child yet not because you're not married yet not because you're not a doctor but god has made you to be a pastor not because you're not a scientist god doesn't want you to discover anything no he want you to go teach and transform people, kids. What are you called for? What is your purpose? God might make one a teacher. Does that mean you must be a teacher? No. Maybe God called you to go deliver people. And yes, you might be one who deliver people but he didn't call you to go in the courtroom to be a lawyer no so you don't spend time studying to be a lawyer no 
that would be a waste of all your time and energy. So it's for you to know what God has called you for. Look at Samson. For 40 years, the children of Israel was in oppression. And God called Samson to begin to destroy the Philistine. And Samson accomplished God's purpose over his life. He ruled as a judge for 20 years. And even though he died a death with the Philistine, he still fulfilled purpose. Today, go fulfill purpose. This is journey of a child of God. And I just want to encourage you today that you should go and fulfill purpose. Thank you for watching my channel, Journey of a Child of God. If this video was of any motivation to you, Give it a thumbs up. Thank you.